everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've had the most magical Christmas ever. I know what I did because I was in Disneyland, Paris for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, would you believe? Yeah, that was different. Um, I have never done Disney other than summer and I have never done Christmas other than at home with my family. So I decided this year I wanted to go to Disneyland Paris and we did. We went for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and then we spent Boxing Day in Paris and it was just the most magical, amazing Christmas ever. It really was. So yeah, I just had the absolute best time and I 100% recommend going to Disneyland for Christmas. It's unbelievable, it really is. It's just something else. You might also notice that I've had my hair cut. I literally just had this done this morning and I am in love with it. If you followed on Vlogmas then you'll know I was getting it done. Or if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I was getting it done. So yeah, just had this done this morning. It needed a good chop, but I really like it. I'm really happy with it. It's exactly what I wanted. Yay. <laughs> so obviously you guys know that every time I go to Disneyland, I like to spend quite a bit of money on merchandise. And this time was no exception. Apart from the fact that money kind of went on other people because it was Christmas, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, so basically because we had an extra day in Paris, some money had to go on that. And also we decided to do inventions this time. So some of the spending money went on that. Totally worth it. Like if you haven't done inventions, 100% I recommend it. We did inventions on Christmas day as our Christmas dinner. And I remember at one point I had Mickey on my left and I had the illuminations on the castle through the window on the right. We had the best table. It was completely unplanned and the fireworks were on. It was unbelievable. I highly recommend inventions, especially if you can get it for illuminations on Christmas day. I'm really sorry if the angle has changed at all. That's really annoying. The memory card literally just filled up. I can't believe that. Anyway, let's start again. <laughs> I just had to change that. It's full of Disneyland vlogs, which are coming very soon. The money went on inventions, the money went on Paris, and we didn't have time to do any Christmas shopping before we went to Disney. So we did our Christmas shopping while we were in Disney. So a lot of these presents, like a lot of the things that I bought while I was in Disney were for other people. So I spent a lot less on myself this time. In fact, I think I only bought maybe three, maximum four things for myself. Also because I only went five months ago, I felt like there was a lot less for me to look at. Normally I want I go like once a year and it's completely new merchandise. But this time there was some new stuff, but there was also a lot of stuff from when I was there five months ago, which is understandable because it was only five months ago. But nevertheless, I did shop and I got all of this. So I still did quite a bit of shopping though. I think I forget how much I bought. I haven't looked at any of it since I bought it. So I'm really excited to have a look over all of this. So let's get straight into it. We'll start with this little red bag. Why not? Ah, I know what this is. Okay, so the first item is this, I have no idea how to say that. Joyux Noel, which in French means Merry Christmas. I'm quite sure of it. But basically when we seen it, the parade for Christmas, there was little gingerbread men in the parade and one of them wheeled its butt at me and it was really cute. And I definitely associate gingerbread with Christmas, like I'm big on magnets. Like if I go somewhere, I want a magnet to signify that I've been there. So I really wanted a magnet. And I haven't gotten a Disneyland Paris magnet since we went a few years ago, cause there's not really any point in me personally getting one every year, but because this time was Christmas, I wanted a Christmas one. So this is the Christmas magnet I got. So that I can look at it and be like, ah, that's when we went to Disneyland for Christmas. The gingerbread men are clearly like Mickey and Minnie theme. Like they have Mickey ears. Otherwise it's just kind of Merry Christmas gingerbread. But this was the only Christmas magnet I could find and there wasn't very many left and this was four euros 99. There wasn't a lot of Christmas merchandise. It's probably because we went like on Christmas. So a lot of the Christmas stuff, I think Christmas goes up like beginning of November, like kind of after bonfire night, mid November. So that's like a month and a half of the Christmas merchandise being available. So there was probably like, you know, a lot of it's probably been sold by the time I got there. So there wasn't many of these left and it was the only Christmas Disney magnet I could find, to be honest. On to the next bag. So when we get presents for other people, I really want to get people like Christmas tins with like biscuits in to give to like me Nana and me mom and like Matthew's parents. And my sister said she would quite like a tin as well. But the tins were really expensive. Like normally when I go, I can find them for like 9 99 and they're a decent size. And then there's a lot of more expensive ones. And then there's like five euro ones, but they're really tiny. And yeah, there's only one tin that I found for 9 99 and it's not Christmas and I'll show you it in a bit. And I found it in one shop and honestly, I regretted not getting more because I'll show you it, but I wanted more of them and then couldn't find anywhere else. So we got this for, I think this is for Matthew's mom and dad, just some shortbreads. 
it's kind of, is it Christmassy? Because they're like red and green. Um, I think this is the Christmas shortbreads. I don't know if it's just red and green though. I'm sure it is. I think it's like Christmas shortbreads. Like they're all in like red and green tartan and stuff. And these were only 4 99 but they're not, sorry, 6 99 Oh, I thought they were $4.99. And it's not a tin, it's cardboard, which is a little bit, ugh. Like, I would rather get people presents, like, tins that can keep. But the only Christmas tin they had that was this size, but oval, was €17.99. And it's like, if I'd bought everybody that, then that was going to be, like, over €100 Euros for some tins. So that, you know, if you go to Disneyland, expect the merchandise to be quite expensive. So I think we managed to do well, because we got everyone a present. It just necessarily wasn't exactly what I wanted. Like, I would rather this was a tin. But still, it's a really nice box. And yeah, Christmassy shortbread. So this is for Matthew's parents. So still on with the same bag. Ah, this is the tin I was talking about. So this is the only tin that I could find that didn't cost the earth. Um, so they have like a Paris kind of Mickey and Minnie, mainly Minnie, um, like, merchandise selection out and it's this lovely white and black with red kind of colouring and artwork. We actually have something else from this collection which I'll show you in a second. And yeah, this tin was 9 99 which I thought was amazing because it is a tin. It's got little chocolatey biscuits in and each one has a different character on. There's Daisy, Pluto and Mickey on there. And then yeah, it's like I love the artwork. Normally I am not one for the Disney merchandise that has Paris like landmarks in the background. But because we went to Paris on Boxing Day, this time I really liked this kind of artwork. But there was something very Parisian and chic about this one. I really, really liked this. In the Ratatouille shop, this was in there and nowhere else. Like, not in the whole of the village, not in Main Street, nowhere. And I wish I'd gotten another one for my mum because I think my mum would have liked this as well. Okay, I think I know what this is. Okay, so this is also for Matthew's parents. So Matthew's parents like wine. And this was also in the Ratatouille shop. And it's basically just like one of those like cork wine stoppers and it's Mickey. And it's really quite heavy and substantial and it was seven euros 99. So yeah, we just got that for Matthew's parents because they, you know, it's cute, it's from Disney and it'll definitely come in handy because they, they drink wine. <laughs> okay, there's a few things in here. All right, okay, so all the stuff in here we got in world of disney okay so i've got a few pins you guys know that every time i go well if you don't know every time i go to disneyland paris i get a new princess pin to add to my princess collection i have like a little pin trading wallety book thing which i got on my last trip if you watch my disneyland haul from i can't remember if i went in august or september this year but if you watch my last one i got a pin book to finally put my pins in and i think about it by now i have ariel Aurora? Anyway, I know I didn't have Mulan. There was actually about four Mulan pins. I could not believe it. I'm guessing it's because the live action is out next year. But yeah, I haven't seen any Mulan pins before, so I know I don't have this one. So this is a green one, which I believe is either $6.99 or $7.99. I can't quite remember. So this is for my friend Beth. Beth went with me two trips ago, if you watched the vlogs from 2017, and she's been in a couple of my other vlogs. Beth's a really good friend of mine. And Beth, is obsessed with Rapunzel. Her favourite princess is Rapunzel. And I'm pretty sure she didn't have this pin because when we went to Disney, this one wasn't available. So I don't know how else she would have got it because this is definitely Disneyland Paris pin. And this was an orange. So I think this one was either $7.99 or $8.99. It's a step up from the green. But yeah, she's obsessed with Rapunzel. So it is Rapunzel and Flynn Rider or Fitz Eugene, Eugene Fitzherbert. Uh, so yeah, I just thought she'd really like that because I'm pretty sure she doesn't have it. So I got another pin for myself. This time when I went, I noticed that they were doing villains pins, which definitely were there when I was there in August or September. I can't remember if I went in August or September. I want to say September. But anyway, yeah, they had villains pins. I was like, whoa, oh, like, I love the princesses, but I think I slightly more like the villains. Like, I am a villain girl. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm nice, really. When I seen they had a villains collection of pins, I was like, a eh, new collection that I can start collecting. So that made me excited. Obviously, I had to start with my absolute favourite villain, Maleficent. She is my girl. I absolutely love her. Hands down, my favourite villain. Like, she just is. She's fabulous. Especially Angelina Jolene as um, Maleficent. Like, she did that so well. Especially the christening scene. Well done, Angelina Jolie. And these are green, so these are the same price as the princess pins. So... I definitely have room in my book for a new collection, I know I do, so I thought I'd start with Maleficent. There was also Ursula, Hook, oh who else was there? Mm -hmm. 
I want to say Corella, but I could be wrong. I think there was a Jafar. Maybe I'm just naming villains. I don't know. But there was quite a few. Like, you could collect them. There was definitely at least six. I could see five or six. So we got quite a few of these little name key rings, like letter initial key rings. Um, just because it was such a great price and they're really easy for presents, like you know whoever you get them for isn't going to hate it. Um, and I know that my sister had one of these in black a while ago when she went like, I'm talking like 20 years ago when she went with the school. I know she got herself on one of these. So I don't know where that is anymore. So there was pink ones with a little pink Delmonte on with Tinkerbell on. And then there was black ones and I think the black one has Mickey on. I have a black one somewhere and then I have two pink ones. Um, so this one is for my sister, the initial is A, her name is Amy, pretty self-explanatory. And then yeah, Amy's favourite character is Tinkerbell anyway, so that was just really handy. And it was €6.99. I'm sure if you've been to Disneyland or you've watched a load of hauls, you've probably seen these. I've seen these every time I've went. Never picked them up and I don't know why, because they're so cheap. They're €4.50. You can get like the Mickey and Friends one, or you can get the Princesses one. And honestly, I thought if I'd gotten them, I would have always went for the Princesses one. But when I actually looked at the shapes, it was really obvious in the Mickey character ones, like what the shapes were. And it wants to get cooked, they're obviously gonna go like bigger and stuff. But in the princess packet, they were a little bit more like, they could really lose the shape and not be as fun to eat. It's pasta for goodness sake. But anyway, yeah, so I got these. It's basically just pasta and it's Mickey, uh, Minnie and the castle. I think that's the only three in there to be honest. But they were four euros 50 and why not have some pasta with some Disney magic in it? Okay, so those, key rings that I was talking about I got another two and um, so yeah the black one actually the black ones are a little bit there's a bit more detail on them so I'll show you what I mean I got a C in exactly the same style as the one I got for my sister it's pink with the little diamante on and it's got Tinkerbell on she's obviously in a different position and this is for Catherine Matthew's sister Catherine and again it was just 6 dollars and then the black one is a bit different it's bigger um, it doesn't have a diamond on, but I guess it's a bit more masculine. So this one has black with red stitching, and then on the strap it's kind of imprinted Disneyland Paris. And then Mickey is on the M, so instead of Tinkerbell. But it was the same price, it was €6.99, but this one is a little bit more substantial than the pink girlier ones, if you want to put it that way. Um, but this one is for my little brother, Matthew. Although I call him Topsy, so I was really tempted to get him a T, but I thought it might be best that I get an M. <laughs> Woo! I need a drink after all that. Oh, that is good tea. Oh, that's so nice. It has like a big sticker on Disneyland Resort Paris. It's got like a big Mickey sticker on to wrap up the tissue. So I kind of don't want to unwrap this, but I'm going to have to to show you because this is a present. Oh, actually that unwrapped pretty easily. <laughs> I thought it was going to like pull up the tissue with the sticker, but it's fine. So this is for my mom and dad. I would have liked to get my mom one of those par like Paris tins that I showed you. The same as my nana's. Um, my dad loves Goofy. I didn't want to get them anything too bleh because um, my parents did give us money to go to Disneyland with, like spending money. Um, so I know my dad loves Goofy, so I thought, you know what, I will get So I really just wanted to get me mum dad like an ornament or something, just something, because I couldn't find the other tin, just something that could keep. Um, so yeah, I've seen this Goofy ornament and I just thought that was absolutely perfect. Although I'm only just realising now that one of the little tr like trees on it isn't covered in glitter and the rest are. I was in a bit of a hurry because the shop was shutting. I got this from my hotel shop. We stopped in the B&B. &B. The vlogs will be up soon. Um, might already be up by the time you watch this. And there's a couple of imperfections on it, which honestly, if you buy any ornament or figurine from Disneyland Paris, I highly recommend checking them over. There's always imperfections on them. Guess it just depends what kind of imperfection you want on yours. I just didn't check this one properly. I was very tired. I'd been in Paris all day. It was my last 10 euros and I just picked it up because I was like, I know. That's what I want to get them. And yeah, he's not perfect, if I'm honest, but never mind. So he was 9 99 And yeah, Christmas is kind of over now, so I need the, to give them it soon. It'll only be on the tree for a few days, and then I guess they'll have to keep it till next year. But I just thought it was a really nice gift to give them. Well, I have not wrapped that anywhere near as nicely as the cast member, but never mind. So you guys know that when I go, I normally like to treat myself to like an ornament. This time I decided to treat myself to a piece of artwork instead. Um, there wasn't any ornaments that I particularly really wanted. Like I said, I think it's because I went five months ago. But I got it from the shop where I normally get the ornament, which I forgot the name. It begins with a H. It's on Main Street. It's the main like ornament shop. And they do artwork if you go around the back and jewellery. And yeah, me and Matthew seen this and we just thought this was perfect. So it is that Parisian artwork that I was talking about before. So when I was saying like, I don't normally like 
the Paris kind of landmarks in the background of the Disneyland Paris merchandise. Well, this time it made sense because we went to Disneyland Paris for Christmas on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and then on Boxing Day we went to Paris for the day. So I really wanted something to remember this trip, something to signify that we'd managed to go on Christmas, and that's what this means to me. Like, it just sums it up. You've got your Disney, you've got the castle, and then you've got the Parisian landmarks, which we've seen all of them, actually. So yeah, this just was perfect for what I wanted it to be. Like, I'm gonna hang this in the house. No idea where, because I'm running out of space. But I'm gonna hang this in the house, and then that can be, like, my reminder of when we went on our Christmas trip, and we went to Paris for Disney, like, for Boxing Day. And yeah, it's just really nice and when I seen it I just knew. And I really love the colour scheme and that it's all hearts because I just had a wonderful time with Matthew and, and Mickey and Minnie and it's just all like about love and Paris and yeah, it's just really nice. So this was in that store and I believe it was 25 99 Yeah, 20, 24 euros 99 it was. Like I'm a sucker for monochrome, especially if you add in red, like Corella Deville style. Like I love it. So this was my kind of even though it wasn't as expensive as my ornaments usually are, this was kind of my little piece that I bought for myself this time that was like, that's my my main present sort of thing. And I don't know how, but we managed to get it back in one piece. Like it's completely flat still on a coach for 16 hours. Like well done, Sarah. So the next thing is not actually something that I bought and no, I didn't steal it. It was my first experience of a cast member giving me something for free. So I've always seen it in people's like, vlogs when a cast member goes out of the way to make someone's experience better whether it be like a room upgrade or just being really friendly or giving them like a badge or giving them free merchandise like whatever and yeah basically me and Matthew were in the store um on boxing day and on the evening and we were choosing that magnet that I showed you right at the start and when we got to the till the lady asked if we would like a bag so I was like yes please and then Matthew was like no we don't need a bag we've got loads and she was like laughing at us and it was just funny and then I went back down once I found out that I still had 10 euros in the bedroom to get my mum and dad that goofy ornament and when I was down there um I went to the till and the lady was obviously just we'd made her smile sort of thing so when I paid she she gave me this with my change and the receipt and she said um this is what did she say just for you or just a little something for you I think she said and honestly like I know it's just a little key ring but I honestly felt like teared up I was like oh my god thank you so much oh I'm getting teary thinking about it like cast members are just oh it's just what it means isn't it it's like it's not the fact that it was a little key ring it's just that little extra something special and she didn't have to do that like I just bought something and I'd been back down and bought something and yeah she gave me this little key ring and it was just really nice of her and I didn't even get a name I'm so terrible I really wanted as soon as I walked I was just in like amazement I was like walking away staring at it like, <gasps> like even Matthew was like you clearly appreciate that more than any child ever would I was like oh my god like, I'm gonna keep this forever <laughs> I wish I'd gotten a name so I could like tweak cast member experience and stuff but I was just in complete like oh my god and then I walked away and I was stood in the lift and I was like oh I didn't get a name so I feel really bad. But if you are the lady that was in the B&B &B hotel store on Boxing Day evening and you give me this, then thank you so much. So it's just a little key ring and it has like a little stopper on the button so that the button doesn't get pressed because once you press the button, the bubbly kind of plasticky Mickey head lights up. I'm not sure if it flashes different colours or if it's just one colour because I haven't pressed it yet. I've left the plastic on because Matthew said that he's seen them obviously children in store had pulled off the plastic and pressed the button and he he went to turn one of them off and it wouldn't turn off so I think that's why that's on there once you press it on it doesn't turn off so I've left it on because we were we were leaving so the next time I go I'm going to try and remember this and I'm going to take it and when we watch the fireworks I'll pull off the plastic and I'll light it up and I'll have it on my bag and stuff while we're while it's dark so I've kept the plastic on and it's been on my bag since she gave me it. So you can actually buy these. I'm not sure exactly how much this one is, but I want to say maybe like six euros 99. So last time I went, I bought myself a ring. Why don't I have it on? I wear it all the time and I haven't got it on. Anyway, I bought myself a ring and a necklace. Why don't I have that on either? And it's honestly my favorite necklace ever and my favorite ring ever. And I wear them all the time and I always get asked, like on Instagram in my stories, like where is that necklace from especially? 
and it's from Disney on Paris. I'm sure if you watched my last haul you'll know. So I like to treat myself to a couple of nice pieces when I go, so like the Peyton this time. Um, normally it's like ornaments and last time it was jewellery as well. So this time I decided to treat myself to some jewellery as well because I have worn them constantly since I got them pieces in August or September, I can't remember when I went. They haven't tarnished my finger, they haven't tarnished, they haven't like gone horrible, like I've just, I've worn them constantly and they're lovely. So I was like, I'm gonna treat myself to some more of the jewellery. I think the jewellery, it's a wrap, it's a little bit more, but it's not loads. Like it's kind of on these little pieces like hanging in most of the shops. There's loads to choose from. And there are like, I think my ring was like 25, these were 22 euros. So they're not loads, but I definitely think they're like, silver plated because they they stay nice i already have little mickey studs and i already have big mickey hoops so i wanted something in between so i wanted some little dangly mickey earrings and that is exactly what i got the only problem with these is it's that the hoops that go in your ear putting them in is fine but then putting these backs on they were bending like no tomorrow and going out of shape so the backs that come with these earrings are not good at all and they are like they're just stiff to get on and they bend the like the earring and they are like white as well so unless you push them right up you can see them like behind the earring so i'm going to get some different backs for these before i wear them again because i don't want to wear them without backs because i've worn earrings like this without backs before and they fell out um but i don't want to wear them with the backs on because they bend them oh i've just realized all my Lumiere candles have gone out. How annoying is that? I absolutely adore these. Once I get some new backs, I'm going to be wearing these all the time. I know I am. I wore them on Boxing Day and they didn't hurt my ears because the the silver plated. And these were red. On the back it says they were red. So these were €21.99. And you can buy, buy these in any of the shops, but I bought them in the Disneyland Paris Hotel before we went to Inventions just to treat myself. There was only one other thing that we got on the trip and it wasn't from Disneyland Paris. Yeah, it was like five of these for a one euro and the bus driver just got an absolute load of them and give everyone on the bus one. Um, yeah, we also got Prosecco, mince pies. We got, we got um, a 10 pound voucher each to go back with the company. Like the bus driver and his wife were really lovely, bless them. So that was everything that I bought on this trip. I do feel like I probably bought as many pieces as I usually do. Um, I obviously just bought a lot more for other people this time because it was Christmas. So now I can give everyone the presents, which is really nice. Also, there isn't going to be a what I got for Christmas haul this year, I don't think because everybody give me money for this trip. It's just ironic that I then spent all of the money, not all of it, but quite a significant chunk of it on everyone else, even though everybody said not to. I like to buy presents for other people and I wanted to. Plus like, I still got everything that I wanted anyway. Like I just wanted that painting and the earrings and a couple of little pins. So I spent the money on everyone else. So yeah, there probably won't be a what I got for Christmas video because everyone got me money, which went on this video. But you got this video instead. Instead, you got you got a Disneyland Paris Christmas haul rather than a what I got for Christmas haul. So just before I forget, these ears are by my good friend Hannah Marie Magic, and she has given me a code for I'm not sure how much off. I forget, but money off. And um, if you use my code Sarah Louise at checkout on HannahMarieMagic.com. Uh, Hannah Marie Magic on Instagram as well if you go and check her out. She has so many ears and bless her, the ears that she made me for my trip were amazing. This is one of the pairs of four and she sent me ones with like earmuffs on which I used every day and were an absolute godsend. I'm not even joking like they kept me so warm. I'm so glad that she made me those. So thank you Hannah and yeah use my code Sarah Louise if you want somebody off some earring, some earrings, some ears, but she doesn't just do Christmas ones, she does all sorts. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling because you know what I'm like. I hope you all had the most fantastic Christmas and I hope you all have a lovely new year. And again, thank you so much for all of your support over 2018, especially like with Vlogmas and me taking a little break off YouTube for a while. And yeah, I'll be coming back with the weekly vlogs in January. The Disneyland Paris Christmas vlogs will be up very soon. Um, I'm going to start editing them, I'm thinking tomorrow, so this will go up first as per usual and then I'll get the vlogs up. So thank you so much for all of your support and all of your messages and yeah, I hope you had a lovely Christmas, I hope you have the most wonderful new year and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! <music>